So in the previous class, we have gone through the operation of depletion type MOSFETs. So in this lecture, we will be uh, proceeding with the operation of enhancement type MOSFETs. So for basic understanding, we will be just analyzing the N type uh, MOSFET. And the similar analysis will be for the P type also. So we will consider here the N type or N channel enhancement type MOSFET. So in construction wise, we have already seen there will be a substrate. On that, we will be having two different uh, N regions. If it is N channel uh, enhancement type MOSFET is there, two different N regions we will be uh, depositing. So this will be with respect to the diffusion, like uh, diffu two different regions will be diffused. So this is N plus doping will be there. So doping will be higher, quite higher, like N plus doping will be there. And this substrate is of pay type. And here, this is oxide. And this one is metal, okay? And this metal will connect in the gate terminal. So it is metal oxide and semiconductor connection is there. Here, there is no channel. Initially, there is in this region, there is no channel. Okay. So, this is the enhancement type MOSFET. Initially, there is no predefined channel is there. So, so in terms of uh, depletion and enhancement type MOSFETs, the difference is there is a no channel in enhancement. Okay. So, we need to create a channel to have some conduction between drain and source. So to create some uh, to create a channel, we need to apply gate voltage. That will be such that it should be attracting the electrons in this region channel region. So this is the channel region. These two source and drain of N type. So the channel should be such that it should be having electrons available into this region channel region. So this is our. Channel region. So here we need to attract electrons so that the this drain and type drain and n type source are there so there will be a direct path between source and drain with the help of channel this channel will be having majority electrons so for that we need to apply gate voltage that should be either zero or greater than zero that means gate voltage should be greater than or equal to zero we need to bias the gate voltage so with respect to that channel will be formed and now we will be able to conduct the current based on the drain to source voltage. Okay, so we will just see. So in enhancement MOSFET, no pre-existing channel is there. Here, the channel will be induced. Channel is induced by applying gate to source voltage. We need to induce the channel by applying gate to source voltage. And also, in difference to uh, the depletion type uh, MOSFET in enhancement type MOSFET. So these enhancement type MOSFETs are considered to be modern mos MOSFETs uh, than the depletion type. So they are like so here it is a MOSFET there instead of using metals what we do we use in modern MOSFETs we use polysilicon. So it will be using by replacing the metals. So there are some advantages associated with this use of polysilicon. So we will see like it basically used. If we, if polysilicon is being used, the overall size of the device will be reducing. OK, so it reduces. The device size. If we are going to use uh, polysilicon instead of metal. 
and also polysilicon is less costly than the metals that we are going to use so it is less costly and also it helps in like uh, if we are using polysilicon the fabrication process is simpler than the using another metal like we are going to use like aluminium so polysilicon uh, uh, provides better uh, fabrication uh, process or uh, simplified fabrication process simplified fabrication process so there are different advantages associated with the uh, using polysilicon if we are going to use so metals can also be used but in modern like mosfets uh, this metals are replaced by polysilicon so basically we are going to use the metals only so while going to analyze the operation basically we will be uh, applying different voltages so one voltage is k to source voltage another one is drain to source voltage okay so by applying these two voltages we need to analyze the device like how it is going to perform so first suppose we are going to apply vgs that is greater than or equals to 0 and at that time vds suppose we are going to apply is 0 if this is the case that means here at the gate side we are going to apply some some positive value okay but this drain is like connected to ground or it, you can make it like it is are not connected to anywhere like uh, it is open or just we can call it like it is connected to zero okay so if this is the case at that time what internal processes will be happening is here so as we are going to apply the gate voltage that is positive so as we are going to apply positive gate voltage there will be uh, because of this positive gate applied voltage so whatever the minority car charge carriers are available into this p type with these electrons so electrons will start accumulating near the oxide layer okay as we are going to increase the gate to source voltage further in positive direction it will keep on increasing the electrons accumulation near this sio2 layer so by accumulating the electrons near this uh, oxide layer with the help of increasing gate to source voltage this is vgs so we are going to increase vgs such that the electrons are accumulating near this so this accumulation of electrons near this sio2 layer will form our channel so as we are going to apply positive gate to source voltage the electrons will be attracted near electrons that is minority carrier in p type substrate will be attracted towards the sio2 layer or oxide layer towards oxide layer the electrons will be attracted and this attraction will be because of the electric field produced because of the application of gate to source voltage and right because of the electric field produced by applying by applying VGS. So as we are going to apply VGS, there will be an electric field near this uh, oxide region. So this electric field will be attracting the electrons available into this p-type substrate. So this accumulation of electrons will be taking place and this accumulation will be such that it will be forming a channel. So this is how the channel is induced. So this channel that is formed is called induced channel. Okay. And also at that time as 
drain voltage, a drain terminal is connected to zero or it is uh, connected to ground like that is not having a positive uh, voltage connected. So whatever the electrons have been generated, that electrons will be available here only. There will be no conduction of electron taking place between source to drain or uh, there will be no electrons moving from source side to drain side because drain side is connected to zero. So at that time, the current through this will be zero. The current flowing in that case will be a zero. You can just write. So ID will be zero if no drain voltage is applied. Even if the channel is formed, even if the channel is formed, but if we are not applying any drain uh, to source voltage or drain voltage is going to zero, there will be no current flowing. So at that time, the channel that is formed when there is no current is flowing because of no application of drain to source voltage, this channel is called flat channel. So that there the channel will be flat. So here channel is flat. So this induced channel is basically flat when there is no drain to source voltage. So this was the case when VGS we are applying that is either zero or greater than zero. So we are able to track the electrons, major uh, minority carriers electrons that is available into beta substrate and is going to form the channel. So this is an induced channel and there is no current as we have made drain to drain to source voltage zero or drain terminal to zero. So now the current will only be flowing if we are going to apply the drain to source voltage. So if we are going to apply the drain to source voltage, that means here the another case is like we have made VGS is equals to some fixed value that is sufficient to form the channel and then we are going to apply VDS. So now second case like so this is the first case you can call it. And in second part, we are going to make the VGS fixed. That means we have made VGS fixed means we are able to form the channel. So once the channel is formed, now we are applying the VDS. So VDS will be applied. So VDS will be applied such that VDS will be positive. OK, we will be connecting the VDS to a positive voltage. So in that case, now what uh, will basically happen is we will see that. So now as the channel is formed, as the channel is formed, electrons are available here. OK, so as electrons are available here, we are going to apply drain terminal with a positive voltage. So this positive voltage will be attracting this electrons available into this channel region because of application of gate to source voltage. So these electrons will be attracted. So electrons movement will be taking place by this arrow. OK, so opposite to this arrow or electron movement, the current direction is there. So the current direction will be this way. OK, so the current direction will be in this way. This is the direction of current. That is called ID drain current and the electron direction will be from here to here. That means from source to drain. So source to drain electron. Electron direction will be there from. Source to drain. So opposite to source to drain or electron direction current direction will be there. Okay. So this movement of electron will be taking place as we are going to apply drain to source voltage that is positive. Okay. So here induced channel is there. Available with plenty of electrons available for conduction. Okay, so now we are going to apply VDS is you can write like positive VDS is applied.
positive VDS is applied. So VDS will attract basically the positive VDS will attract weekend light. Positive VDS is applied and attracts electrons available in channel region. So whatever electron electrons are available into the channel region, it will be attracting the electrons and this movement of movement of electron basically constitute the drain current. Okay, so ID will be because of this movement of electrons available into this channel region. And that movement will be because of the applied drain to source voltage. Okay, so this is the basic uh, idea like how the current is going to flow and how the channel is formed. Okay, so once we have uh, seen this, now this is the case when we are applying the VDS, but this VDS is small. We have applied the VDS, but with this this VDS is small, then this type of uh, phenomena will be taking place. And there also, as we are going to apply the VDS, we can just see. So between this, this is an N type, and this substrate is of P type. So this is N and P. So this is N P, or that is there is a diode available because of this N region and P region. So this is a diode available is there, and as we are going to increase the v VDS drain to source voltage. So drain to source voltage, whatever positive drain voltage we are applying with respect that the source or sorry, this substrate is connected to ground. We can call it the source. Uh, uh, the substrate is connected to ground. So this N is connected to positive side and P is connected to zero. So this is like a reverse bias P N junction. So as we are going to increase this drain to source voltage, there will be an increase in reverse bias to this uh, PN junction diode. So as the PN junction diode is going to increase this uh, uh, reverse bias operation, there will be an increase in depletion region. So this black region that is saddle region is showing the depletion region. So this is the depletion region taking place as we are going to apply the drain to source voltage. So but this depletion region will be more near this drain side than this source side. Why? Why there will be uh, more depletion region near this? Because if we compare these two uh, diodes, so this is N and P, so there is one diode here. So we can just see. So this is P side and this is N side. Okay, so we can make it like There will be one diode here. This is P and this is N. Another diode is here. Okay, between this is P and N. So we can make it like this. So one diode is here. So there are two different diodes, and this is also a reverse bias because this is having positive side drains and this is ground. But this one is like this is connected to again ground, this side, this terminal, and this. Substrate terminal is also connected to ground. So it is like both the directions are having the same potential. That means this is having the ground connected to ground and this is also connected to ground. But in this case, this is connected to positive and this is connected to ground. So that, that means this uh, diode that is on drain side is having more reverse bias than the diode that is on source side. So that's why there will be more depletion region near this drain side so because of this there will be more depletion region so this re depletion region has increased on the drain side but on the source side it is having similar nature okay so there is less depletion region but on the drain side there is more depletion region so because of this depletion region 
there will be reduction in channel region so initially the channel was flat okay so initially the channel was like flat it was a flat channel but because of the application of drain to source voltage as we are going to increase the drain to source voltage there will be the case like the channel is going to tapered that means initially it was flat now it is being tapered that means this tapering is going to take place because of the reverse bias uh, this pn junction diode on the drain side and as we are going to increase this drain to source voltage further there will be further increase in devolution region and there will be the case like the channel will reduce further and it will break from from here so the point point from which the channel is going to break or channel is going to reduce is called the pinch off point okay so as the channel is going to break the start or the beginning of breaking of the channel is going to call the pinch off point so that analysis we will just uh, do by applying the uh, drain to source voltage so in this point we can write there will be there will be depletion region near drain and source side or we can call it like the depletion region will be like uh, similar there will be similar depletion region region near drain and source sides so both sides the similar depletion region will be there if we are going to apply the drain to source voltage that is small okay so now we will see the third case like if we are going to apply vgs that is fixed and this fixed value is such that channel is that is fixed value is su sufficient to make the channel channel is formed okay so this vgs is fixed and that is sufficient to make the channel and now we are going to apply the vds and this is larger value okay so we are applying the vds that is positive voltage and here also the vds that we are applying is positive voltage but it is small here we are going to apply the positive voltage but it is large value so as it is large value as it is large value the current with respect to that as we are going to increase the uh, drain to source voltage the current between the source and drain will be increasing keep on increasing till the channel is going to pinch off okay so current will be increasing at that time the gate to source voltage is fixed the gate to source voltage is fixed and vds we are increasing so current will keep on increasing till the point reach called pinch off so at pinch off the channel is going to deplete the channel is going to break okay so this is the point from which current flowing between drain to source side will be a constant it will not be increasing further as we are going to increase the vds okay so here also in this way here we can write one more term the drain current will increase so id increases as vds increases so as we are going to increase the uh, vds the id will be increasing if we have applied the vds is small so in this case now as we are applying the vds that is large there will be larger depletion region near the drain side then source side okay so larger depletion region will be there near the drain side than the source side because of this larger depletion region near the uh, drain side there will be tapering of 
channel occurs near drain side okay channel tapering will be taking place the voltage vds applied for which the channel starts depleting or you can say channel starts breaking from drain side is called pinch of voltage so whatever drain to source voltage we are further going to increase because we are increasing the drain to source voltage further so there will be a time when the channel has tapered and now it starts depleting okay so it starts depleting means we can in the symbol form we can just see like uh, if this is the case the instead of channel here it is up uh, looking like here so instead of there the channel will further deplete and it will be extended up to here only so now this will be the channel so for this portion so for this region the depleted channel is there or there is no channel in this region there is no channel okay so now that means the channel is going to deplete from this portion from the drain side so this is going to deplete the channel so as we are going to increase the vds so the point at which the depletion is starts is called the pinch off point so that vds at which the channel starts depleting is called the pinch off voltage okay and beyond that beyond pinch off current that is id becomes constant or we call it like the current is saturated okay so this is called saturation current now the drain current will be saturated so this is called saturation current and the vds value at which the pinch off occurs is called vds or vd saturation called vd set it is called vd set and just write like v d set so vd set is the value of vds that is drain source current a uh, drain source voltage at which the pinch off is going to occur and beyond that there will be a constant current that is such a resistance current will be flowing through this uh, source to drain side okay so by going with the analysis we can just see the transfer characteristics and the drain characteristics so transfer characteristics will be id and input voltage that is vgs so id versus vgs will be showing the similar curve that is of the normal diode so for the normal diode as we are going to increase the diode voltage it initially there will be a zero current and at a point there will be increase in the current the point at which the increase in current will be there that is called vt this is called threshold voltage this is called threshold voltage so this threshold voltage is the voltage at which the channel has been formed and at that time the drain to source voltage is also applied and the current starts flowing so here initially we have seen 
like uh, drain terminal we have connected to zero and we, we are applying the gate to source voltage. So gate to source voltage we are applying, but drain terminal is connected to zero. There will be no current flowing, but there is a channel formation is there. So when the drain to source voltage is also applied and we have we are starting to apply the gate to source voltage. So the point or the gate to source voltage at which the current starts flowing is called the train uh, threshold voltage. So we can just analyze like in terms of symbol if we call it like if this is the just a minute. Okay. So this is the symbol of uh, we can call it this is the symbol of n channel drain uh, okay so here this is gate and this is drain and this is source so we are going to apply suppose we have applied the drain to source voltage that is positive and at that time we are increasing the gate to source voltage So this is n channel uh, in acid type MOSFET. So as we are going to increase at that time, there is a drain uh, drain term to source uh, voltage connected. So as we, we are going to increase the gate to source voltage, so this plot is for constant VDS. For constant VDS, this plot is there. So if suppose the VDS that we are connecting is a constant VDS, so some VDS is there. And now we are going to increase the gate to source voltage. So as we are going to increase the gate to source voltage, there will be uh, accumulation of electrons that will be taking place up to this volt, uh, voltages, gate to source voltage that we are applying. So in this region, this is the gate to source voltage region, uh, gate to source voltage where the electron is accumulating. Near SiO2 or oxide layer. Okay, so as the electrons are accumulating, if the sufficient amount of electrons are sufficient, channel has been formed, then only the current will be starting. Okay, so this uh, as we are going to increase the VGS from zero to some value, and at this value, there will be channel is formed, and the, now the current will start flowing. So this value of VGS at which the channel is formed and current starts flowing is called the threshold voltage. So the minimum that means minimum threshold voltage value we need to apply this gate to source voltage. So gate to source voltage should be applied up to a minimum value that is VTH that is threshold voltage so that there will be a current flowing through the MOSFET. So this is your threshold voltage. Okay. Our next one is drain characteristics or output characteristics. Okay, so in output characteristics, ID versus VDS, that is output voltage, VDS and ID will be plotted. So as we are going to plot, so this is plotted for a constant gate to source voltage. So suppose gate to source voltage is plus 8 volt. So gate to source voltage we have applied, that is sufficient to form the channel. So channel is formed. Now we are going to increase the VDS. So as we are going to increase the VDS, and so consider this one. So as we are going to increase the VDS, the current is increasing linearly. So this is called linear increase in current. So as the linear current is increasing, after a point, the current will be constant. So the point at which the current will be constant is called the pinch of voltage. So this will be the point at which the current is being constant. So this is called pinch of voltage. Okay. So for this case, for this case, this will be your pinch of voltage. So this pinch of voltage is also called VD set and this VD set is equals to VGS minus VT. So this VD set is equals to VGS minus VT. That means we need to apply extra uh, gate to source voltage minus threshold voltage. So whatever uh, the remaining voltage is there that much drain to source voltage we need to apply so that the current is becoming 
constant so this is called vd set and the region of operation where it is operating in linear mode okay so this is going to operate in linear mode okay so up to here it is linear mode so this is called the linear region operation so this is called the linear linear region of operation of the MOSFET or it is also called triode region so the region where the MOSFET is going to operate in linear uh, mode that means the current is going to increase with respect to increasing VDS is called the linear mode and the point after pinch off this is the point of, of pinch off are called uh, saturation so this is pinch off point okay so this pinch off point after pinch off point the current is going to constant so in all the cases the current is going to constant so this is called your saturation region and the region where we are applying the gate to source voltage but even in that case also the current is going to be zero that means whatever drain to source voltage we are applying the current is zero that means the region when gate to source voltage is less than so the gate to source voltage is less than the threshold voltage that region will be called the cutoff region okay so the cutoff will be when the so cutoff is when VGS is less than VT. If VGS is less than VT, that will be your cutoff region. So in cutoff region, there will be zero current flowing through this drain terminal. So this region up to here, by this we can call it this is cutoff region. Cutoff region means if we are applying gate to source voltage that is less than the threshold voltage then there will be no current flowing so this is called cutoff region okay so this is your uh, drain characteristics and transfer, char uh, transfer characteristics by combining these two we can just see the uh, transfer characteristics can be plotted from the drain characteristics also so if drain characteristics is given then also we can plot the transfer characteristics so this is like we can uh, extend it so for different voltages so this is like 3 volt vgs so at vgs 3 volt whatever the current is flowing this is the current so at 4 volt what is the current at 5 volt at 5 volt we will be plotting different points so at 6 volt 6 volt this is the current value and 7 volt this is the current and at 8 volt this is the current so by combining these points we can get the uh, transfer characteristics in case of any type MOSFET. Okay, so I hope uh, you have got the point. So this is a basic of operation of uh, normal and uh, channel enhancement type MOSFET. The similar lenses we can do for the P channel MOSFET also, but the only difference will be they are like instead of using a positive gate to source voltage, we need to apply a negative gate to source voltage okay in that case uh, once we are going to apply the negative uh, gate to source voltage the uh, instead of attracting the electrons it will be attracting the holes from this p type substrate or sorry n type substrate so it is of n uh, p chain uh, for p channel mosfet p type mosfet we need to have n type of substrate so n type of substrate so uh, minority uh, holes will be attracted towards this by applying the gate to source voltage that is negative and also this is p instead of n there will be p channel uh, regions halidor p channel regions for drain and source so here to attract the holes from this p we need to connect negative voltage so here drain to source voltage should be negative okay to attract the holes from the uh, drain side so this is uh, the basic operation of uh, n channel mosfet so now we will go with the current equation so different current equations are given current equations 
we will be proceeding. So there are basically three different regions where this uh, MOSFET is going to operate. So one is cutoff region. So MOSFET and MOSFET that is enhancement type MOSFET will be operated in cutoff region. So the condition for cutoff region is like the current flowing will be zero in cutoff region and the condition will be when VGS that we are applying is less than VT. So if VGS is less than VT, the current flowing will be zero and this is called cutoff region. Second case is linear or we call it triode region. So the condition for triode region is we need to apply the VGS that is greater than VT, that is threshold voltage. Now that means the channel has been formed and as the channel has been formed, okay, so this is the linear region. So we need to have the channel formed and this was the point. Okay, so one more point like we have seen, this is the point VD set. So the VD set for different gate to source voltage is different. So if we plot all the VD set points, we will be getting this dashed line. This is called locus of VD set. Okay, so all the locus of VD set will be like a curve. So this locus of VD set is given by this uh, curve only. Okay, and all this VD set will be different for different gate to source voltage because VD set is equals to VGS minus VT. So VT will be fixed, but VGS is reducing. We are reducing the VGS. So as we are reducing the VGS, the VD set value will also be reducing. So initially it was here. Now it will be less than for this. It is further less. Okay. So you can have it. Okay. So for this, so we, okay. So VD set value is going to reduce. So if we plot this, this is the region where it is operating in triode or linear region. That means this is the VD set. So up to this, the VD value that we need to have. So this VD value, VDS should be less than VD set. Then only it will be operating in linear region. Are you waiting from this? So for linear region, the VDS that we are applying should be less than the VD set. Because this is the VD set for this condition. VGS is equal to 8 volt. And this is the point for VGS is equal to 7 volt. So if we are applying VDS less than this VD set up to this region from here to here, from here to here, this is the region of linear region of uh, linear region operation. Okay. So the condition for linear region is first condition is we should be having VGS greater than zero. And along with that, we need to have the condition like VDS should be less than VD set or VDS should be less than VD set is given by VGS minus VT. Okay, so this will be the condition. For the case like the MOSFET is operating in linear region. So if it is operating in linear region, there will be a current flowing and that current will be given by the equation like the ID in that case. ID in that case is called ID linear because it is the current in linear region. So this is ID in the linear region. So that linear region current is given by mu n cox w by l VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS whole square. Okay, so this is the current equation in case of linear region. So here, as the MOSFET is going to operate in linear region, the current will be given by this expression. So this mu n here is 
the mobility mobility of if it is n channel mosfet it will be mu n if it is p channel mosfet it will be mu p mobility of hole and mobility of electron okay so mu n c o x w by l v g s minus v t h into v d s minus v d s square by 2 this is the current equation in the linear region the next we will see that is saturation region so in saturation region first of all what we will see is what is the condition so the condition is vgs should be greater than vt so first condition is such that the channel has been formed and there is a current conduction taking place and vgs is greater than vt that is uh, giving you out like the transistor is on okay so if transistor is on along with that in the saturation you can just see from here so the region of saturation is this is the region of saturation from here from this point to this point okay so from this point to this so from this point to this this is your saturation region up to here okay so this is your saturation so saturation starts with like if we are applying vds greater than vd set this is the point of vd set as we are going to increase the vd set uh, voltage the vd vds greater than vd set so this is the vd set if we are increasing the vds greater than vd set then the saturation starts okay so saturation starts with the condition like the vds should be greater than vd set or vds should be greater than vgs minus vt so this is called the saturation region so in saturation region the current equation is given by id that is id saturation is equals to mu n cox cox value what is the there i will be explaining okay so we will get that point cox w by l vgs minus vt to the power 2 and also it is 1 by 2 is there okay and just consider it is 1 by 2 times this so from where it has came so this equation so by putting the vds by putting vds is equals to vgs minus vt in the linear one we will be getting this expression so if we are going to put from here to here we can just see in this equation if we are going to put uh, vds is equals to vgs minus vt then we can get the expression for saturation so why we are putting because beyond this vd set point whatever vd set value will be there that will always be vgs minus vt only in practical like uh, simulation we do for the circuit if even if we are increasing the vd set the v, vds value sorry vds value vd set value will always be constant like vds will always be the same vd set only so beyond this uh, beyond this uh, pinch of point whatever vds value is there that is always vgs minus vt only okay so that's why it is uh, by putting this we can get this expression of the saturation current okay so i hope you have got this uh, point so this is all about the working of uh, n channel mosfet n channel enhancement type mosfet okay and uh, if you have uh, any doubt you can ask
and I, you can just uh, write here also. Mu n is here. Mobility of electron. W is width of channel. L is length of channel. and cox cox is called oxide capacitance so cox is also given by so oxide capacitance is uh, given by This is called uh, permittivity, like epsilon ox oxide, whatever the permittivity of the oxide uh, layer is there as a SiO2 is there. So in that case, that will be there. And TOX is the thickness of the oxide. So in this graph, you can just see the starting. Okay. So suppose this is the SiO2. And this is called the thickness of oxide this is oxide this is the permit permittivity of uh, uh, oxide that is represented by f silen ox okay and this is going to have give you the length this is the length of the channel and this is called the width of channel okay so in uh, this is like a 2D structure is there. So in 3D, you will be able to really identify what is width here. So width is basically once we go with the 3D structure, okay? So for the basic understanding, you can get this length. And uh, VT, you already know what is VT. So VT is threshold voltage. get to source voltage okay and one more point i would like to uh, say here so as in this case here we have seen so as we are applying the vds that is greater or larger value there will be a depletion in uh, the channel region is going to be taking place the so channel is going to deplete so as the channel is going to deplete we have seen in just now that this is the length of the channel but now as the channel has depleted because of the larger value of VDS value, there is reduction in this channel region is there. So this is now the reduced channel region. So now this is because of higher VDS value, the channel region is going to reduce. So in that case also, the channel length also reduces. So instead of this is the initial length, now the new channel length is this only. The channel region length has reduced. So because of the application of higher gate to uh, drain to source voltage, there is a reduction in channel length. So this process is called channel length modulation. Channel length modulation. So channel length modulation takes place when VDS is greater than vd saturation if we are increasing the vds even greater than vd said then there will be channel length modulation taking place channel length modulation is basically going to reduce the effective channel length so whatever effective channel length is there that is initially l now it is reduced to l dash you can call it this is l dash so that's going to have a smaller channel length is now so this is called channel length modulation so this is similar to the modulation that uh, taking place in JFET and also in BJTs. So base width modulation, okay, we have seen, and the channel length modulation uh, we have seen in uh, uh, previously in the JFET also, okay. So this is all about the operation of n-channel MOSFET.